Warm up, baby. It's warm up time. Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking into today's video. We are going to be breaking down how to draw your shot from the vial into your needle, into your syringe, so you are ready to give yourself your injection. Stay tuned. Video content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health providers with any questions you may have regarding injections of any kind. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you are here to learn how to do your shot, how to break down each of the things that are, that are come along with doing HRT, like syringes and the needles and the different gauge sizes. We're gonna go over all of that, so let's dive right in. So usually you have a bag to hold it all in. All right, so in mine, I actually keep all of my vials. All right, so when you are doing testosterone, you get a vial at the store. Sometimes I've, I've seen some people get like a bigger of like container of this, but this right here is 200 milligrams of testosterone. Cyponite. Cyponite. Now let me see. Focus. There we go. So you can see it's a small vial. It's just a really thick, like liquidy, like almost like looks like oil in the container. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Right? Well, you probably can. So in this little vial is testosterone, the hormone that triggers all of the male characteristics that someone who is transgender would take in a variety of ways. But for today, we're talking about our shot. We need two different needles for one shot. You need your draw needle that's gonna draw this out, that we're gonna draw out the testosterone from this vial into our syringe. So we're gonna need a thicker one to be able to pull the thick testosterone through um, through the needle. So the one that I draw out of the vial with, so this one's an 18 gauge. So for my draw needle, I'm gonna use this 18 gauge. So that's one needle that we'll need. And the other one is our injection needle. Do not try to give yourself your shot with this draw needle. This draw needle is meant to be a wider circle, a really thick um, version to be able to handle uh, the thick liquid that's coming through it. And this, it's kind of hard to see, but this one is a purple, and this one's a 24 gauge. So you have an 18 and a 24 gauge. Um, both needles that we need, uh, they're like twist on caps. You can actually get these, you can actually focus, you can actually get these down in the description below. I'll uh, link these because you actually can get these from Amazon for a lot cheaper and a lot more reliable than your local post office at a post office. Um, pharmacy at least in my opinion because they've been out before and it's been a mess so um, I'll link these below but you need both of these to do your shot and your vial as well as one of these bad boys alcohol pads I'll link to below but this is to be able to wipe the area before you do your actual shot before you inject the area you need to sanitize it right so we'll open this up we'll be like wiping the area clean where we're gonna be doing the shot and the most important part letting the area dry after we put that alcohol on there because a lot of times we're trying to rush it sometimes you can get like shot anxiety sometimes you're just trying to be like all right we're gonna knock this out we're gonna do it but we have to be patient we've got to make sure that um, that we've got the area clean and we got to make sure that we got the area dry as well we're gonna need a syringe so in my case, these syringes that I got from my pharmacy, I'm just using the rest of them before I switch completely over to Amazon to get the rest of my syringes. So um, what, what I'll get in the future will be just the syringe, but you're gonna need this syringe. And it's important that it's in a wrapper, it's from a safe place, it's from somewhere that is, like I've got mine at, at Walmart, I, or you can order them on Amazon, um, but they've gotta be from a safe source. You can't be getting needles from, you know, unsafe source, guys. That's how you, yeah, that's how you get diseases, and we, we just, we're just not about that. So we got our syringes, we've got our two needles, our vial, our alcohol prep pad, 
and then also a paper towel because right after your shot you're gonna want to like wipe the area you're not gonna be like shoving it in there and you're not gonna be like rubbing it really really hard it's just gonna be like really light back and forth to make sure that we're like just getting um, the area clean before we pop a band-aid on there so that is what you will need for your shot so now let's prepare our shot let me pull you a little bit closer all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do everything right here so it's big for you guys so you can see it. All right, so step one is we need the syringe. So in my case, it came with a needle on there that's a 25 gauge. I could give myself my shot with a 25 gauge. It's just gonna be harder to push in because the 25 gauge is a skinnier needle than the 24 gauge but this is a 25 gauge so this one just might be a little bit too small so i'm not going to use the needle that's attached to this but i wanted to make sure that i'm getting it from a clean source so until that way i can recycle these i'm taking it out of the wrapping and i'm going to twist off the cap the caps just twist off um, uh, very easily um, this is what they look like they have kind of like a nub on the end of this one and then this side has like a, a little spot right here and it just twists on twists on, twists off. So this one we're not gonna use, but we're gonna hang on to this because this is what we're gonna be using. So now that we got our syringes ready, we're ready for our actual draw needle, which in my case is going to be an 18 gauge. So I'm gonna open this up because like I said, we get our needles from safe places and safe sources. Um, and we're gonna twist on, twist this one right on there. So I'm gonna try to make sure we're focused here. And we're gonna twist this right on there, just like that. So this is how big the needle is. I mean, it's a, <laughs> this isn't just for the draw needle. Um, let me see if I can, yeah. So this it, this one's pinkish on there. And um, yeah, so this is what we're gonna use to draw it out of the vial. Next step is to take your testosterone and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to like shake it or like rub it like this or something. I don't really know. That could be like a total myth, I have no idea. Um, just like loosen it up. I'm pretty sure and like warm it up from friction. I don't know. This is the protective lid. I'm gonna pop this lid off. And now you see in the center of this uh, vial of testosterone, you can see that there's a little kind of like hole in the middle. It's kind of like rubber in the middle of there. And that's where we're gonna put our vial in, um, our, our, our needle in to draw it out. So let's go ahead and take this cap off the draw needle. By the way, I've already washed my hands, so please make sure that you're washing your hands before you do this. We wanna make sure everything is as sterile as possible. All right, so we've got our needle, it's ready to go. We're setting our cap off to the side. So you can see, I don't know why I chose to do this on a black surface, but you can see this needle. So we're gonna take the vial and it's gonna be upside down. So we're gonna be going at an angle this way, straight in. So I'm hitting it right here in the center and we're gonna push through just like this. Do you see there's some bubbles coming up? That's just the air coming through. We're just gonna let those settle. You're, you might see some bubbles going on in here, okay? And we're not, we don't want those bubbles, right? Those bubbles are not safe. We don't want those to be drawn into the vial. So you can kind of tap it, try to get as much of those out. Sometimes the best thing to do is to just pull down um, just a tad to get some like suction in there. And then what you're gonna do is make sure that the opening of your needle is above that rubber area. So it's drawing in straight. So as I'm pulling down, on this, you can see it's starting to fill up in here and the bubbles are towards the top. So you kind of just give it a tap, rotate this top one to be like kind of at an angle like this, where you can you can see the opening of it is right at the bottom of the testosterone. We're trying to get every little bit out of there. It's what I'm doing, so I'm tilting this way. Hopefully that's in foot, yeah, it is. Hopefully, so we're tilting this way and we're slowly drawing back with my left hand pinky finger, or ring finger, drawing back, drawing back, drawing back. And then once I see that bubble that just came through there, right in the pink area of the needle, I'm gonna pull that off. And you can see those bubbles right there. We're gonna want to shift up like this so the bubbles stay above. We're gonna grab our cap. We're gonna set it right back on here so that way when we dispose of this needle, it's in a safe place. We're gonna twist off the cap and now our vial is full and it's ready for our shot. All right, so this is what it should look like. In my vial, there's supposed to be one cc, right? Um, so it's gonna pull it down. It's usually, even if you stop exactly at the one, um, that's, that's still great. So I got a little bit more 
what's gonna happen is I'm, is I'm gonna push this up after I put my new needle on top and um, that's gonna push it to be right around one so that way when I do get my injection it's it'll be a full one cc you can see on there one half of one so what I usually do is I put my I put down my syringe and I grab my 24 gauge my 24 gauge needle um, and that's gonna be the one that Kayla gives me my shot so I'm gonna peel that back and then we've got this one and we're gonna twist it on here so now it's twisted on there it's safe it's not going anywhere I'm gonna set this down to the side while I let Kayla know babe I'm ready for my shot I do not give myself my own shots um, I will soon i will try it um, i'm not opposed to it i'm not opposed to giving myself my shot i'm not i don't think i'm gonna like pass out or anything i've just been very uh blessed to have kayla help me with that so i hope this shot was this shot tutorial on how to draw your shot was helpful i encourage you to check the description below for more resources and tools as well as a lot of things that were in this video that will help you take your shot successfully and just so you guys know i do have a personal facebook group where i give away a deluxe kit in an axillin prosthetics um up every single month so while you guys participate in challenges that will better your life and post inside the group for proof you get one entry every single day that you participate for the challenge then at the end of the month the person who's the most participant partic the person the most participantable person person that posts the most with the the most consistency will win both in a deluxe kit and a prosthetic a lot of times people don't want one or the other so they'll donate to somebody else in the group at the end of the month so just stay tuned link for that is in the description below and i hope you guys are having a fantastic day um and i will see you guys also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. That means a lot to me. And if you are subscribed, I love you so much. Thank you. Bye.